delayed payment to livestock farmers in the past saw Kenya Meat Commission face challenges in securing animals for slaughtering. One of the greatest challenges that we had was this facility taking in livestock but not paying the farmers for the same. Indeed, some farmers had waited four years before they were eventually paid. To address this, President Kenyatta, while presiding over the reopening of the refurbished KMC factory, challenged the new managers of the facility to ensure that livestock farmers are promptly paid their dues. So, Jamidari, I am keenly looking forward to going forward you maintaining your pledge that all farmers will be paid within 72 hours of the delivery of their livestock to your facility. The Commission's business reorganization plan has kicked off in earnest, starting with offsetting all the pending payments owed to the Commission to farmers. A robust plan for a competitive acquisition of livestock and a timely payment schedule to suppliers after delivery has also been implemented with positive feedback. With an installed daily slaughter capacity of 1,250 large animals and 2,000 small stock, the head of state challenged KMC's new managers to leverage on regional and continental trade arrangements such as the African Continental Free Trade Area as well as the Middle East and Europe to put their products into the international market by obtaining appropriate export certifications. And I want to remind you that even as we set our eyes on the European and the Middle East markets for exports, a significant proportion of our growth will come from emerging markets, many of which are right here in Africa, where the population is growing and more consumers now enjoy improved purchasing power. Strategic intent, Your Excellency, is to fully roll out the Commission's production to meet local demands within the next two years, as well as operationalizing all our Adi River factory, the Kibarani factory in Mombasa, and through the establishment of sustainable catchment in existing KMC ranches across the country. President Kenyatta said over half of the country's population depends on the livestock sector for its livelihood and that the government could not allow it to collapse.